Hello and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder and his amazing hacks. And this video is all about amazing secret AoE farming technique I've been using for a while now. First you want to purchase Findle's Looterang toy off the auction house. Now that's different from the Looterang item which is more expensive and requires engineering. Findle's Looterang doesn't require engineering and works only in Draenor. And this exploit is best used by an affliction log. However, it, it can be used to a lesser extent by all classes. Then you want to head to a decent farming location in Drano. I'm going to head to Fangrila and Tanan Jungle, which is to the east of the Griffin at the Vault of the Wardens. Warlocks will need to have developed their artifact weapon Ulthalesh to the level where they get the soul flame trait. Now here in Fangrila you get these big cats which drop black fang claws which can be traded to the nearby saber stalker quarters master for amongst other things the savage cub pet which sells for over 10k gold on the auction house. These cats also drop a decent amount of sumptuous fur and greens. These cats have a decent amount of health more so than the average mob in Legion. Pull as many as possible and DPS them down. Now when one or more of them dies your weapon Ulthalash creates ghosts of the dead mob and as this happens your soul flame artifact trait will cause the ghosts to explode. This does a reasonable amount of damage to anything in the area. Now you'll find if you use Findle's Looterang, you'll discover that the act of losing causes the explosion, the soul flame explosion, to occur again, as if you just killed the mob. As you get more and more corpses, your AoE radius and the amount of total damage from soul flame increases exponentially till you are virtually one-shotting everything in the immediate radius. In addition, looting pulls everything in a very wide area. This is how this is useful for other classes. Uh, it is really an amazingly fast way to farm stuff. Uh, you should be able to make at least 2,000, sorry, 25,000 claws an hour using this technique, which with the other stuff would make you well over 20k per hour. Uh, there are actually people making more than that in WAD from this farm without this amazing glitch. So there's the hack. Uh, this probably won't last the, the week, so bear in mind if you're looking at this in a few weeks' time, it would quite likely have been fixed. Uh, to avoid missing out in future, please subscribe so you can get these videos when they are fresh and tasty. <laughs>